Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Trey Fades. I'm bringing some more MXGP 2020, guys. We are so close to the new game dropping, but we're still out here grinding. We're on the Yamaha 250 two stroke back in the career mode. Like I said, man, if we finish this series, we'll finish it. But if the game drops before we finish it, that's tough, man. We did, we did do, uh, this is our third season, so we're, we're absolutely going off here. We're in fourth place now. We still have no win on the 252 stroke, so that's unfortunate. But hopefully we can capture that here at Spain and get something done. You guys have absolutely been killing it on this series, and I appreciate all the love and the support on the channel, man. Once I started playing this game, the channel really started to grow. So I, I really appreciate this community that is on the channel. Of course, I don't want to be boxed in and just be an MXGP content creator. That's not what I want. But I do enjoy this game, and I'm still gonna put, I'm gonna pump this content out for you guys because you guys really enjoy it. So don't don't be worried there guys for all the guys that want to watch these videos but i'm always going to drop different content on the channel with that being said guys i'm going to do a little bit different type of video here and uh hopefully you guys do like it and it's something that i want to experiment going into the 2021 game and see if it uh see if it's a little bit better enjoyable for this career series especially if you guys like the video man drop a like on the video it's literally free let's try to get this video to 25 likes guys you guys are absolutely killing it like i said so let's try to get this video to 25 likes drop a sub if you're not subbed or you're enjoying the content drop that sub let me know man join the community and uh, if you are subbed and you don't have those notifications on you're doing it wrong guys turn those notifications on so you can stay up to date with all the videos i appreciate it Let's get into this Spain race and try to get something done. The rain is starting to come down pretty heavy here at Spain. So let's see what we can do, guys. Let's see if we can get a good gate here. Oh, good start. We're not going to get the whole shot, but we do get a good start on the outside. Get into Tim Geyser there. And man, this is going to be an insane battle as Jeffrey Hurlings is going to take a quick lead. Can we chase him down? He is on that KTM. That is the team we were on previous season. Oh my goodness, we have no traction right now. Oh, we're gonna have to check up here. I don't remember this track at all, boys. We're going into it blindfolded. You would think I would remember these tracks by now, but it's like every time I get on here, it's like a fresh track. Here we go though, let's see what we can do. We're putting the pressure on Hurlings early. We can't let him get away too far. We haven't had much luck, and we're actually doing pretty good. We usually struggle on these first motos. We're going to take the inside here. Oh, my goodness. We're, we didn't get the lead. That's a beautiful jump. Oh, my goodness. We about slid out. We are putting the pressure on Jeffrey Hurlings right now. Can we get around? He, oh, he pushes us. This is a battle right now. A battle for first place early in this moto one. Oh, we're going to get into him. We're going to get around him. Where do we go? Sharp little turn here. And we get the lead from Jeffrey Hurlings. Oh my goodness. How did we get the lead there? You tell me. I don't know. We're out here on the Yamaha 252 stroke. I hope this weather clears up, guys. I do like the rain is in the game. It makes it pretty realistic. Oh, that's a big jump right there. Insane. Oh, the 252 stroke is slamming right now. We are ripping it, boys. Let's go. Beautiful jump. Oh, we almost overjumped that. We are slick right now. Barely getting any traction in this rain. We got a beautiful start here. We may be able to put some time on Jeffrey Hurlings. We used to be really good in the rain in the first season. Second season, not so much. But first season, we were pretty good. We got a beautiful start. Let's see if we can hang on to it here and get this Moto 1 victory. That would be that would be huge for us in points if we could get a win here. Across the finish line, I'm going to look back. We got some gap on Jeffrey Hurlings. 
What is going on right now, guys? This is insane. This is not like us this season. We've been struggling, man. I've, de I've been debating retirement. I've been debating retirement because we have not been we have not been doing too good on this 252 stroke and uh, We're actually putting a gap on hurlings. Oh, I shouldn't have whipped that. Oh, don't go over We held on to it boys And we're putting some mean time on Jeffrey hurlings. It's actually starting to clear up. So that makes me feel better About going into oh get on the track going into moto 2 if it's gonna be clear, oh my goodness. We, I feel so all over the place right now. This is insane. I don't know what's going on right now, but we have a huge lead on Jeffrey Hurlings. And that's what I was saying in one of my videos, man. It's like some tracks we do really good at, some tracks we do really bad at. And I do like that, uh, you know, I don't know if it's just me and you guys are out here clocking out on the realistic AI difficulty, but some tracks I'm just really good at some tracks I'm really bad at I, I I guess it's just me personally I I have no idea but it makes the season pretty fun when you uh, you have some tracks you're not gonna win every race because it makes it a little bit uh, more realistic you know than coming out here and clocking out on these guys every single race but we're gonna try to hold on to it you guys if you watch the series you know how I love to choke these motos when I get out here by myself and I start to clock out, it's almost like I would rather be chasing somebody the whole race and pass them right at the end than actually uh, just leading the whole race. I feel like I ride harder when I have someone to chase uh, <laughs> than I do when I'm just out here by myself. You would think I could run some clean laps by myself, but it is what it is. I guess I enjoy the competition, to be honest with you, but uh, this one's going to feel good if we can get it done here. This is the final lap here in Spain, Moto1. Let's see if we can get it done. And there it is, guys. We're gonna get the Moto1 victory. It was easy, but there it is, guys. We ran a clean 143, best time, four laps, 25 points. Tim Geyser passes Jeffrey Hurlings for the second place. Jeffrey Hurlings rounds up your top three there and gets the podium. Just outside of that was Glenn Koldenhoff. He came up short of the podium there in Moto1. Not really podium, but top three, I guess. But let's get into this Moto2. Here we go, guys. Moto2, the rain is coming back down again. That's kind of unfortunate. I thought we'd have a clean Moto2, but it worked out for us. We might actually get the whole shot here. What is going on, boys? What is going on this race? This is so not like us on the 252 stroke. If you've been watching the series, we've been struggling all season long on this 252 stroke and we came out here and we're dominating right now we're gonna get a beautiful hole shot and it, it doesn't even look like we're gonna have much of a battle if we can just hold on to oh i over jumped that like crazy oh we're just spinning oh my goodness okay okay don't fall down let's go we held on to the lead there and there's no berms on these turns right here we're just going through the ruts boys beautiful start here we have jeffrey hurlings breathing down our neck and if he gets the win he might potentially win this whole thing he did come in third right so if i come in second i should get the win but let's try to not let that happen i'm gonna try to actually finish this race out strong here and get it done we'll see though we'll see what happens beautiful start though beautiful absolutely beautiful start here in the rain Maybe the rain is playing an advantage for us here. Hope, I hope so. And we can get it done. But this is a nice, nice start to this race. And the rain continues to pour down. So I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It may rain this whole moto. And hopefully some riders back behind us struggle through this rain, through this mud. And we come out here and get the win. And we're actually gapping them now pretty good. This is crazy. This blows my mind. This blows my mind that we have, we've been struggling so much. This is going to be a huge momentum boost for us on this 252 stroke. Oh my goodness. We're just spinning. It feels like so real quick in this video, I just wanted to say in the community tab guys. So I've been posting all kinds of stuff, having votes on different stuff. Like what games do you like? What do you want to see on the channel? Just all kinds of stuff I post and let you guys vote on and basically going into MXGP 2021 we didn't play the 250 series on 2020 
and I don't know why I did that. I just kind of never played MXGP, and honestly, at that time on my channel, I didn't even expect to start making uh, motocross content. Like, that's not what I wanted to do with the channel. I literally played these games for fun, like MX versus ATV Reflex. I played all these type of games for fun. I played Supercross. I did post some Supercross content, so it doesn't. It's not like it's too off the wall that we started making MXGP content, but. We didn't do the 250 series. I played that game. I played the 250 series. I really enjoyed the video, uh, like the game overall. I know a lot of people hate and love this game, but I enjoyed the game. Like I said, I haven't played a lot of motocross games uh, in the past. Like I haven't been grinding them out like some of you guys probably have. So when we started playing this game, I seen that it dropped. I copped it, started playing it, really just fell in love with uh, motocross and and just playing it again honestly that's why i think i enjoy this game a lot is because i i haven't played a lot of the other games so you know a lot of people say 2019 and 2020 kind of copy and paste uh like i said i'm not sure because i haven't played a lot of it so i enjoyed what i got when i bought it and i i feel like honestly this will be the 40th video that we've posted on the channel of mxgp 2020 so like i said dude i, I i've enjoyed this game and uh anyways back to the community tab so on mxgp 2021 when we do do the 250 series i'm actually gonna post in the community tab and you guys can vote on it or you can comment down below on this video what i should ride what team i should sign for basically i'm gonna let you guys pick and choose on what i should do in the career mode i'm gonna let you guys guide me through the career mode on what we should do and it should be pretty fun like that that's gonna be pretty cool uh of course i'm gonna go ahead and post probably right after this video a community tab that you guys can vote on and let me know what you guys want me to ride on so i'm gonna put every bike that i think is gonna be in the game gas gas uh basically the main bikes gas gas honda yamaha suzuki uh ktm husqvarna and uh i'm gonna let you guys basically vote and see what you want me to ride on the 250s then once we get to the opportunity to, to sign with a 450 team i want you guys to vote there i'll do another one and let you guys pick what i should ride there so it should be pretty cool but we are killing it on this track and honestly i don't even remember this track so this is insane that we're killing it i mean we're up by i, I would love to see the lap time i'm guessing the rain is helping us out a lot here on this track for some for whatever reason but we're dominating right now this is absolutely insane guys that we're getting it done here in spain oh i over jumped that oh can we get back on the track my goodness but yeah guys just look out for uh look out for that community tab and that poll that i post and let me know what you guys think can we clear this beautiful little whip there we get it done also i might be doing some mx bikes on the video i don't know if i should cop the game or not so i'm gonna do another tab on that let me know what you guys think about mx uh bikes and if i should start doing like simulator games I i've heard they're pretty good especially for the diehard mx fans a lot of them play mx bikes on pc so let me know what you guys think about that that'll be on there but we're gonna come over this roller here hit the finish line and get the sweep here at spain for our first win on the 250 two stroke there it is guys we get first place we swept both motos glenn koldenhoff gets a second place finish there jeffrey hurlings gets a third place finish what an insane event what a bounce back in this race six of the season